New Jersey has a rich history of contributing talent to the entertainment world, whether through theater, television, movies, music, or radio. In fact, no other professional category is as well represented by Jerseyans as entertainment. 91% of all artists are completely undiscovered, and the hurdle they face is a lack of opportunity. The lucky 9% that do get discovered usually end up being taken advantage of due to lack of education about the entertainment industry. They're led to believe that entertaining means living an extravagant lifestyle rather than seeing their opportunity as a business and an investment to one day be able to give back to the communities from which they came. The sounds of tomorrow can be a vessel of hope. We are joining forces with the Marion A. Bolden Student Center, a unique facility created for the exclusive use of high school students to gain additional academic support, career-related training, as well as access to space for study and research. It's also the new home of the Sounds of Tomorrow, which is a talent development program designed to cultivate the gifts of talented individuals. The Sounds of Tomorrow is made up of talented and experienced professionals such as Jerry Wanda. With over 200 million copies sold, Jerry has garnered over 15 Grammy nominations and won three Grammy Awards including multi-platinum offerings for musical icons Lauren Hill, Shakira, Whitney Houston, Beyonce, Jennifer Hudson, Melissa Etheridge, Michael Jackson, Bono, Miguel, Mick Jagger, Wyclef Jean, the Fugees, just to name a few. The Sound of Tomorrow program is the program that I wish that I had when I first started playing, uh, get into the music industry. Of course, I was at home. I was playing in church, playing a great instrument, really good on bass. One thing I didn't have, I didn't know where to go to actually really learn to be better as a great musician. And, and to me, the sounds of tomorrow, we actually going out there to find musicians, people that, you know, kids that are playing at home, getting music lessons, but they, they're really good, but they don't know what's the next step is. We started in Newark, where kids gonna come in, they're going to learn music. If you wanna be, you wanna do film, you wanna do art. If you do music, this is where Chris Brown recording. This is where Lady Gaga, Justin Bieber, Mary J. Blige. All the things that I didn't have, I actually wanna give that to the kids in New York. I wanna take kids off the streets. I wanna take kids that sit home, that have the talent, and I wanna make sure that they're learning it the right way. I remember watching artists such as Beyonce and Pete Diddy on television. And it seemed like overnight I was on the same tours with them. Everything happened so fast and I wasn't prepared for the opportunities that came my way. If I was taught simple things such as budgeting, credit, and most importantly, understanding my self-worth, I would probably be a billionaire today. But because of the lack of not knowing these things and not having a father in the home with a mother who too lacked that knowledge, I was lost. And I definitely wasn't mentally ready to handle success. The sad part is I wasn't alone. And this is why we created The Sounds of Tomorrow. Our mission is to take creative, talented, driven individuals and teach them how to cultivate their gifts. To not only become a great talent, but also to become great leaders who use their abilities to make a difference in the communities from which they came. Somewhere out there is the next Beyonce, Will Smith, or even Steven Spielberg just waiting to be discovered. And The Sounds of Tomorrow will be there to help them find their way. We're excited about partnering with The Sounds of Tomorrow because the team brings many strengths in terms of developing students' potential in how they see themselves as artists or working behind the scenes in the entertainment industry. And we're looking forward to that partnership and growing our students so that they have something that they can express themselves with every day that they're a part of the program. I think the, I think the greatest thing that can happen with Sounds of Tomorrow for the Mary Bolden Center is one, students will finally get to see what this building can offer them. Students will finally get to see what the TV studio will offer them, what the, the recording studio can offer them. They'll get to see that there are so many ways to be involved in creating art. Like you don't just have to be a singer, even though you can be a singer. <laughs> you don't have to just be a rapper, although you can be a rapper. You can be the person behind the lens, making everybody look and feel great. And those people are just as important in the industry as the artists. Newark has a, a rich history of art and culture already. Uh, 
and uh, we believe that it's our time to bring it back to uh, showcase the talent and the things that are going on in our city and so sounds of tomorrow does a few things they they it, it allows us to kind of rekindle that spirit that opportunity for young people and other folks in, in Newark to grab onto something that is rich and historical in our city and to revive it again. It allows folks in the city to have a real access uh, to wealth and, 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 and resources in our community. A lot of these people have these dreams that they don't think that are attainable. Uh, their skills need to be sharpened, their knowledge needs to be lifted, their, their access uh, needs to be uh, enhanced and I think this does that. And I think there are a lot of people who will wait for this opportunity to take place. The relationship between the Marion Bolton Center and the Sounds of Tomorrow, I feel it's something that's needed in North because I feel that culture is a weapon. And what they're bringing to us has been taken away from us. You know, so the music component of the schools, we're lacking that. So people know that just kids dealing with music, you're using a whole nother side of your brain. So I feel that this relationship will actually improve kids learning in school and improve that the whole existence and the whole culture of the, the, the city, the, the Bolden Center. It's like a hub and it's just waiting for something to happen in it. And I think the Sounds of Tomorrow is that something. The Sounds of Tomorrow program and the Marion Bolden Center allow students to comfortably be together as students instead of people from different schools. They join things that they have interest in, like for example, Sounds of Tomorrow, where people want to make music, want to write, want to produce, and want to create art. And that allows people to have bonds, be friends, be more creative, and come up with new ideas. I like the fact that the Sounds of Tomorrow is at the Marion Bowling Center because it's right across the street from my school, and it's free for anybody who wants to join to come and expand on the talent that they already have. Students will have the opportunity to learn television broadcasting, including planning, developing, recording, video editing, live interviews, and on-screen experiences. Students can design their own shows to broadcast on cable television, as well as produce their own shows. Students will also have access to a media center and web-based research studio, which is a perfect place to study and do research via internet and other library resources. The Student Publication Center is perfect for student-led projects that support and encourage students to write, edit, use graphic arts, produce newsletters, and student magazines. Join the Sounds of Tomorrow. Donate. Volunteer. Follow us online. The Sounds of Tomorrow. Be part of empowering minds everywhere. Log on to www.soundsoftomorrow.com.